Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Teaching Nomads uh, Professional Development Webinar. Um, it's going to be a quick overview of some of the professional development options that we provide. Um, these are going to include uh, TEFL courses all around the world, um, as well as the Teach Now Teaching License Program. So I'm going to um, I'm going to kind of give you a brief overview and then give you some contact information uh, where you can reach out um, and we can discuss. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions for you um, about that. But for this uh, webinar, just wanted to kind of briefly introduce what we have and what some of the offerings we have, and then um, give you the chance to, to reach out and we, we can talk about your specific situation, what you might be interested in. So today I'm just gonna, you know, go over, um, you know, some of the differences of uh, the courses that we have, um, the benefits of taking a TEFL course, uh, which we, we offer a lot of, and then also um, all about earning your teaching license with uh, the Teach Now Teaching License Program. So a lot of people ask, and uh, probably the biggest question that we get are, um, well, what's the difference between TEFL, TESOL, and TESOL? Um, so just a quick overview. I think a lot of people um, have, have seen these, but maybe don't know the difference. Um, TEFL courses is everything that we offer. Um, all of our programs are going to be uh, programs where you're teaching students in a country where English is not the native language, whether that be Asia, Europe, uh, Latin America, all of our programs, you're teaching um, you're teaching students where English is not the native language. Um, TESOL, or really just ESL, um, you know, specifically is about teaching students in a country where English is the native language. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and you know, we have uh, English language courses here where students don't speak English as their native language, and, but they're living in the States. And so that's kind of the definition of TESOL, or TESOL, sorry. And uh, TESOL is going to be kind of a mix of both. Um, teaching English as a second or other language, meaning you can teach English in both environments. Um, I will say that some people get confused, but they're really interchangeable terms. If you were to take a TEFL uh, course and earn your TEFL certificate, you'd still be able to teach uh, TESOL. Uh, if you returned home to your native country and that's a native English speaking country. Um, so they're really interchangeable. Sometimes people use TESOL or TEFL um, and, and people do get confused, but they really mean the same. Teaching Nomad, we offer two different um, types of TEFL courses. So um, we have our in-class TEFL course and those are really great because you get your observed teaching practice. Um, so you have six to eight hours where you will get to write a lesson plan, uh, then deliver them in front of real students, um, and you get expert feedback. So all of our trainers, um, you know, they have their masters in, in English language and have been doing this for quite a long time. So they'd be able to give you some pointers and some feedback on what you can do to improve in the classroom, uh, be a more effective teacher. Um, so I think there are a lot of benefits there with that observed teaching practice. Um, it's really going to help you build confidence in the classroom. It's not just for new teachers. Um, there are a lot of new teachers that, that start just to kind of to, to learn the basics of English language teaching. Um, but a lot of uh, experienced teachers come and just kind of get a refresher, um, get some feedback on how their teaching approach is, what they can do better. Um, so um, I myself took a TEFL course in Vietnam uh, a year after I had um, been teaching and it was really helpful. I, I really felt um, a lot better after I was done um, and there were a lot of things that I apply to my classroom even today. Um, we do have an online TEFL course. Um, this is just going to be the theory portion. So you're not getting that observed teaching practice. You're not going to be in front of the students. Um, you do get to write a lesson plan. Um, you will do some observations of teachers via uh, YouTube videos. Um, these are going to be really easy to obtain. Um, they're self-paced, so you can take your time uh, with them. You can go as fast or, or as slow as you needed. 
um, and the cost is, is a lot lower. Uh, obviously, you don't have your instructors giving you feedback, you don't have students, there's no building where you need to go. Um, so it's quite a, po quite a popular um, course. Uh, a lot of people do this just to kind of get their foot in the door um, if they you know, feel very confident in the classroom or um, they just need it for a visa. So big question that I get is why take a an in-class TEFL course um, when you could just take a an online. And so there are a lot of benefits to the in-class TEFL course that you can't get from the online course. Um, one is that you know building that that confidence. You know both new and experienced teachers, you can always learn something new in the classroom. Uh, you can always you know see how you're teaching. Um, are you speaking too fast? Are you managing the classroom well? Um, does your lesson plan have a good flow to it? Um, so a great opportunity to just kind of get a refresher. And, um, you know, like I said, I took my TEFL course and felt a lot more confident um, after I, I had those four weeks and was able to deliver those lessons and get that feedback. It's also great for the resume. A lot of schools that we work with, um, they're looking for not only the TEFL, but also a TEFL with observed teaching practice. Um, they know that you've been in front of the classroom. Um, they know that you've gotten those, that feedback and been able to write a lesson plan and deliver it. Uh, so a lot of uh, schools are, are really looking for that. And it also gives you some leverage uh, while you're negotiating a contract or um, you know, just looking for jobs. I think by having that on the resume, uh, a lot of schools do look for that. So um, definitely something to consider if you're making a, a career or um, not a career change, but a job job change. Um, all of our TEFL courses come with job placement assistance uh, in the country and beyond. So if you were to take um, a TEFL course in Vietnam, for example, they would be able to uh, place you. Or if they're if you're interested, you know, teaching nomad, if you anyone that takes one of our TEFL courses um, will be able to be placed. So we will give you job assistance, um, guaranteed job if you um, fit the qualifications. So um, it's very nice because you can kind of go into the country um, and know that when you do complete it, you will be able to start working. You also get to familiarize yourself with a new city. Um, so wherever you go, you have four weeks, Monday through Friday, you're going to be taking the course and then you will, you know, get to make friends, get to network, get to see some of the schools, kind of see where you would like to live in the city, um, meet some teachers that have been there for quite a while. Um, so I think that, you know, when I took my TEFL course, I thought that this was, um, the biggest advantage. You know, I went to Vietnam. I'd never been there before. Um, I didn't know where to live or what a good school was. Um, so being on the ground and, you know, meeting people and getting advice uh, on where I should go and where I should look, where I should live um, was very helpful. And so you can kind of take a look at our TEFL course locations. They're all over the world. So, um, China is where our, our main office is, so this would be our main um, our main TEFL courses in Shanghai. Um, South Korea is a very popular teaching destination. In South America, we have Guadalajara, Mexico, Heredia, Costa Rica, which is right outside of the capital city of San Jose, um, Buenos, Arge, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, in Europe, we have Barcelona and, and Prague. In the Southeast Asia, um, quite a popular teaching destination. Um, many of those schools in Southeast Asia don't recruit from abroad. So a lot of people um, like to take the TEFL course um, and give themselves some time to start looking for a job while they're there. Um, many times in that part of the world, um, they're really looking for someone that is there, ready to go. Um, so if you're interested in teaching in Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, or Myanmar, um, I really encourage you to take a look at some of our TEFL course options. Um, they have job placement in all locations. Um, so they'll be able to, to help you. The demand is quite high. They just don't have the resources or to, to pay recruiters like Teaching Nomad. So 
Um, if you are interested, it is a very popular location. Um, I would definitely consider taking one of our in-class TEFL courses. And lastly, uh, we have our combined TEFL. Combined TEFL is just the online portion that we have. You complete all of that, which is just your theory portion. Uh, usually takes two to four weeks to complete. And then you'll come in country for 10 days uh, to do your observed teaching practice and get all of those hours in. So it's a little bit more cost effective, but you still get um, that teaching practice, that feedback from instructors. Uh, so we have that available in Shanghai, China, and also in uh, Phuket or Chiang Mai in Thailand. So a little bit shorter to be taking the course, but you still get all of the teaching practice. If you want to find out more uh, about our, our TEFL courses, I encourage you to visit our website, uh, teacherlink.teachingnomad.com. You can take a look at uh, the map that we have there and all of our locations. Um, once you click on the location you're interested in, it'll have all the information about the course dates, the location, housing, job opportunities when you're done. And of course, if you have any questions, you can email me at teacherlink at teachingnomad.com. And lastly, I'd like to talk about our Teach Now teaching license program. This is something that is quite popular. Um, you can earn your U.S. teaching license uh, remotely. So you don't have to be in the U.S. You don't have to return to the U.S. for any reason. Uh, it's a nine month program start to finish. Um, so it's pretty much nonstop unless you like um, it ends in the summer, you can kind of delay it to when you are uh, in class toward, towards the end. I, I can speak to more of that if you have questions, um, you can reach out to me. Like I said, it's completely online. Um, it's open to all nationalities. So if you're from the UK, if you're from Australia, New Zealand, anywhere, um, it's open to all nationalities and you can get your US teaching license. Once you get your U.S. teaching license, you can uh, transfer that to your home country um, if you do decide to return. So a couple benefits of Teach Now, and, and I want to uh, remind you, I'm just giving you a brief overview. Um, if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out and we can kind of discuss further. Um, the biggest benefit is going to be the, the cost. Um, it is 6,000 U.S. Um, but for a teaching license preparation program, uh, that's pretty competitive. And the fact that you don't have to return home to the US, so you're not gonna have to pay for a flight, um, accommodation, you're not gonna have to take any time off of work, um, but you'll still be able to get that teaching license. I think this is something that makes it a really great program, a uh, very competitive program. It's convenient. So like I mentioned, you don't have to travel to the U.S. for any reason. You do it completely online. Um, it is for working teachers. So your commitment uh, to the course would be one hour per week um, doing remote uh, lessons. So you'll have a cohort. You'll sign in to their platform and um, you'll do your, your weekly lesson for an hour. You will have about 20 to 25 hours of of homework so you know that's something to consider it is a full-time program there is work to be done but you'll be able to do that um, on the weekends or after school you can kind of figure out your own schedule to get all that work done and uh, lastly it's global so it's classes are staggered throughout um, you know throughout a 24-hour period so whether you're in Asia in the Middle East um, in Europe U.S., there are going to be a time that um, that you'll be able to find that will work for you. So whether that's after work, um, they have a lot of pro, uh, they have a lot of lessons on uh, the weekend, and once you find a time, then that will be your time each week. So um, you can really um, set a schedule around when your classes are. Again. Um, this is just a brief overview, but if you'd like to know more, uh, visit our website, teacherlink at teachingnomad.com. Click on teaching license. Um, you'll find all the information there, and there's even a link for you to apply. Um, application process is quite easy, um, and you can do that um, all online. If you have any questions or need any assistance, um, please don't hesitate to um, email me at teacherlink at teachingnomad.com. 
So uh, that's a brief overview of our professional development options. Um, I hope you found something that, that might work for you. Um, and I hope you have a great uh, e-fair. So best of luck to everyone. And uh, I hope to hear from you soon.